The commander of troops for today's ceremony is the Cadet Basic Training Commander, Cadet Captain Donovan Hinton from Woodbridge, Virginia. His staff consists of the Cadet Basic Training Executive Officer, Cadet Captain Nicholas Shriver from San Antonio, Texas. The Cadet Basic Training Adjutant, Cadet Captain Caitlin Schwarting from Virginia Beach, Virginia. The Cadet Basic Training Intelligence Officer, Cadet Captain Patrick Irish from St. Augustine, Florida. The Cadet Basic Training Operations Officer, Cadet Captain Diego Soto from Missouri City, Texas. The Cadet Basic Training Logistics Officer, Cadet Captain Kaylee Conrad from Reno, Nevada. The Cadet Basic Training Communications Officer, Cadet Captain Mackenzie Curtin from Cohocton, New York. And the Cadet Basic Training Command Sergeant Major, Cadet Sergeant Major Kirsten O'Keefe from West Point, Iowa. Since the days of the American Revolution, flag bearers have been an important element in ceremonies. At the center of today's formation and bearing the national colors is the United States Corps of Cadets Cadet Basic Training Color Guard. Our day marks the beginning of the close connection that the class of 2025 and the class of 1975 will forge over the next four years as a result of the West Point Association of Graduates 50-year affiliation program. This program will enable these two classes to work together on at least one significant event during each year that the class of 2025 is here at West Point, culminating when distinguished members of the class of 1975 will present graduating members of the class of 2025 with their first set of second lieutenant bars on graduation day. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Military Academy presents the Class of 2025. The official party for today's ceremony consists of Brigadier General Mark C. Quander, Commandant of the United States Corps of Cadets, Class of 1995. 
Command Sergeant Major Kenneth Killingsworth, Command Sergeant Major of the United States Corps of Cadets. Colonel Kyle Marsh, Brigade Tactical Officer, Class of 1992. Sergeant First Class Michael Mullins, Senior Enlisted Leader, Brigade Tactical Department. Colonel Jennifer Karam, Commander, Cadet Basic Training Regiment and Class of 1999. And Sergeant First Class Stephen Wagner, Senior Enlisted Leader, Cadet Basic Training Regiment. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for honors and the playing of our national anthem. Please feel free to sing along as it is played. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the 79th Commandant of the United States Corps of Cadets, Brigadier General Mark C. Quander. New Cadets, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and bear true allegiance to the national government. That I will maintain and defend the sovereignty of the United States. Paramount to any and all allegiance. Paramount to any and all allegiance. Sovereignty or fealty that I may owe. Sovereignty or fealty that I may owe. To any state or country whatsoever. To any state or country whatsoever. And that I will at all times. And that I will at all times. Obey the legal orders of my superior officers. Obey the legal orders of my superior officers. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice. You may lower your hand.
ladies and gentlemen, the newest cadets at the United States Military Academy, the class of 2025. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the official Army song, The Army Goes Rolling Along. Please feel free to sing along with us as it is played. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety and for the safety of our cadets, we would like to ask that you please remain in place as the cadets march back to the Central Academy area. The march that will be played as the cadets depart is Washington Post. Company A is commanded by Cadet Captain Josiah Spain from West Point, New York. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Bonnie Verma from Skillman, New Jersey. Company B is commanded by Cadet Captain Jessica Bader from Auburn, Alabama. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Jordan Hardy from Las Vegas, Nevada. Company C is commanded by Cadet Captain Jillian Schiffer from Arlington, Virginia. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Miguel Aquino Torres III from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Company D is commanded by Cadet Captain Sebastian Gray from Dallas, Texas. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Sarah Hollis from Bangor, Maine. Company E is commanded by Cadet Captain Stephen Butts from Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Brock Hinkle from Nashville, Tennessee. Company F is commanded by Cadet Captain Jessica Berry from Tolland, Connecticut. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Willem Shittabum from Darien, Connecticut.
Company G is commanded by Cadet Captain Caleb Burnett from Aia, Hawaii. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Jude Watkins from Birmingham, Alabama. Company H is commanded by Cadet Captain Connor Kratzis from Austin, Texas. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Michael Amberg from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Company I is commanded by Cadet Captain Keller Conroe from Two Harbors, Minnesota. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Samuel Herzog from Cincinnati, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. We would ask that you please remain off the plane. Shuttle buses to Buffalo Soldier Field will be departing from behind the soup's ready box until 11 o'clock this morning. Please feel free to take advantage of this service. We hope to see you back here at West Point on the 9th of August when the class of 2025 marches back from Lake Frederick, culminating the completion of cadet basic training or for Acceptance Day Parade on the 14th of August when the class of 2025 is accepted into the Corps. Thank you for attending, and please enjoy the rest of your day. Beat Navy.